Hey everybody, Eric here with Tea and Tobacco. Today I want to talk about a remote viewing solution that I have. Now, I have a few, few Cooladors, uh, one I have for cigars and one actually I have for tea, and then I have my display humidor back here. Now, the problem with some humidors and uh, Cooladors is you can't see the hygrometer from the outside and then you have to actually open it up to, to check on the hygrometer and you might not want to do that all the time. So what I actually did, I picked up this ambient weather station and it comes with these remotes. So you get three of them with this. This is $55 and it comes with three remotes. Um, and it actually wirelessly sends the data from the remotes to this receiver here. Now this receiver can actually take up to eight remotes and you can cycle through them. So right now I have three because I have one in my main humidor back here, and then I have one in my Coolador and one in my uh, Pumador for my Pooler Tees. And uh, it's just sending the data back. So you can see this top one is my display humidor, which is sitting at, it says 73%, but if I look at my Zycar, it's actually 71. Um, same here, this is my Gluador, it's sitting at 69%. Uh, this bottom one is actually the remote I have out, which is why it's dropping. It's reading 61%, but it's going to continue to drop because it's definitely drier in my office than that. Um, if I check my Zycar, it's sitting at 71% in my Il Gluador as well. So this isn't the end-all be-all, but it is a good solution to um, remote viewing of your parameters, and it could give you a indication of what's going on. Now, I don't expect this to be completely accurate, and I already know that it's off plus or minus 5% according to the uh, manufacturer, so it could be plus or minus. You can adjust it, you can kind of calibrate it, so uh, I set it to what my Zycar was showing, and it's kind of drifted since then, but at least gives me an idea of what's going on. Plus, in the summer, I may not, uh, air condition this office so it gets really hot but in the basement it stays well under 70 degrees um, so I can move all my stuff down in the basement but still read my parameters for my office on the second floor so that's kind of useful too so that might be something you guys might want to consider if you have a lot of different storage options and you have them in different places of your house or especially if you're storing some stuff in your basement and in a glue door uh, you can still kind of check on them uh, periodically without actually having to go down into the basement to, to look at them. So there you go. Hope this tip has been helpful and uh, thanks for watching Tea and Tobacco. I will see you next time. See you guys. This guy's really been all over the map though. He's confused about everything. <laughs> After the initial light, it went into a apricot raisin um, and then it kind of transitioned into a raisin and walnut and then it transitioned to a walnut and cocoa. And now I'm to a strawberry and walnut. 